Just a quick word on on how um, the the hinge placement works in uh, Interior CAD. Uh, it's usually the concealed hinge type that we that the Interior CAD tools uh, place on both the the flush doors and the um, the, the the lay on doors. Uh, so this is this is a slightly different um, type of hinge. This is usually um, well, I I know this is used for metal doors or metal frame doors. Um, uh, quite, uh, quite rarely see this with with wooden doors um, which doesn't mean you can't use it um, on the contrary um, quite easy to do actually um, but um, as for the um, the the general the um, method that you use for for hinges is that you identify the door um, and then you get your uh, favorite hinges here um, you can choose from from all sorts of manufacturers and then you just just place them and um, they they adapt to uh, both well they obviously go along when you come along when you when you change the uh, position of the uh, the cabinet or when you uh, change the height um, to anything and you, you can get more more hinges in that case um, and again you can quite quite easily just you know change the the number by by alt dragging or control dragging them and still they will be on the you know remain on the on the cabinet um, as part of the cabinet so that's sort of um the the, the bit of magic that interior cad does so if you go back to the um original height or thereabouts um uh, all the other hinges get deleted and you um and the the the, the one that you, you placed manual that still fits within the cabinet will stay uh, and also the ones that um were placed uh, on the grid will uh, realign um and and be repositioned you can see they have green drillings in this one this manual hinge has black uh, drillings but still uh, part of the part of the cabinet now if you can try and do that with with one of these by I'm, I've, I've, I've done it actually I've created a dummy hinge for um, this with this as a mounting plate because that's that's the that's the two portions that you get so that was the wrong um, that was the wrong grid you have to click on the grid that you want um, so you you can you can kind of do it, but it's not nice because hinges are always they always align to the um, the the back of of the door. Um, it's just the way that they work. These concealed hinges work. So you'd have to kind of make uh, one for each door thickness, which you don't really want to do. So um, what you can do instead is you can you you can uh, resort to to manual placement. Um, so. Um, how do you do that? Well, first of all, uh, let's just um, look at the technical specification and this gives you um, a two millimeter gap between the door and the, uh, the carcass. And then you have a three millimeter th uh, thickness. So you need a recess here um, in both the door. Um, that's the edge of the door and the uh, panel, the, the side panel. Um, but this is, this is quite a hefty hinge. So, I mean, um, the, 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 that 18 millimeter door isn't going to... Um, that's not going to be right. So um, first thing you need to do probably is to change the thickness of the door, which you can do by um, changing the material to one that has uh, 32, 38 millimeters. So just chipboard doesn't matter for this this example. So um, that's the first thing um, I would do. And then um, what you do is you uh, assign some some drillings and some millings to that uh, to that that hinge. Um, now, um, you, you need both the routing and the drilling, so how do you go about that? Um, since you know that the, um, the, the beginning of the drilling is going to be the, the, uh, the inside of the hinge, um, you, you need to place the drillings um, right. So um, let's just uh, place it here. Um, hold down shift to reverse the direction of the drilling, but that's not right. So um, what we'll do is we'll just um, move this to the center of the drilling and then Look from um, look from above, and place it there because that's where the drilling uh, the drilling actually starts, right? Okay, so um, let's just quickly copy these over and mirror them across. Do that from the top if you want. That's the that's it. So um, that should that should work now. Well, as you notice, the the drillings are red. That's that it means they're not connected. But let's just try. 
Um, if we just use, come on, shut up, there we go. And you see that they're now black, which means they are actually uh, connected to the um, cabinet proper. So um, that probably wants to go a little bit out like that, and that's nice. So let's just check, part layout, and here we go. So that's the door, uh, that's the, sorry, that's the side. You've got your drillings in the side there, and uh, that's the door. So here's, here's your four drillings in the door. Um, and, uh, and also if you uh, just drag this up and uh, update your part layout, that then you see that you have your drillings here and here as well so that's nice but that's not uh, well I can actually leave that there um, that's not everything what you need to do is you need to add um, the um, the recess to the to the the hinge as a uh, an interior cam milling so let's just do that I'll show you how that how that's done um, what you can do is you can um, extract the um, uh, back side of the hinge, the inside, if you want. So use the extract tool, hold down Alt to target the uh, concealed um, as uh, face, and then just press Enter, and there you have it. So um, you probably want to get rid of the um, um, uh, the punches. So let's go to Edit Polyline. Let's just delete those. Um, exit Polyline, and then um, actually that doesn't make sense it's it's probably because you you will get the 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 radio anyway because of the the router diameter and let's make this a bit bigger because um, the, the router doesn't want to, uh, it wants to come clear of the the actual part to um, make a nice nice pocket there so um, if I convert this to a routing uh, contour hold down shift so it reverses the direction because it wants to go inside the um, the object and you can see it, it, it makes the diameter anyway. So let's go to the uh, radius compensation, uh, put that to left, um, depth is three, that's fine. Uh, and let's give this a, um, well, we, we could use a, a pocket macro there, but I'm not gonna go into detail. Let's just give it a 30 and that's, that's our pocket and that'll do for now. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and mirror that to, um, oh, I think I made a mistake there, insertion point. It wants to go there. Let's just reverse that. I think that's probably right. Let's see. Let's see if it turns black. I might have done that wrong, but there's no harm in playing around a bit. No, that worked. So that's that's fine then. So um, if we uh, look at the, the part layout, um, let's just... Oops, yeah, that's it. Um, I've done one before here, just as a practice, and do that, delete that now. Um, so if we update the um, the part layout, you can now see that you have the the pocket, and uh, I should show the pocket there actually. I think it should. Oh, maybe not. Huh? Let's make a new one. Should have it there. Oh, not sure why it's not showing it there. Uh, it's probably because it's on the other side, is it? No, it's not. Um, I don't know. Let's see, did it not turn red? Uh, black? Yes, it's black. Oh. Oh, I think I, I probably forgot to press Alt. Now uh, you see that just goes to show that the error is always in front of the computer. See? So let's try again. Let's put that there and update the uh, the part layout. Uh, there you go. No, thank you. There you go. There it is. Yeah, interior cut is always right. That's the problem. So here's your routing. There's your there are your drillings, and the one last bit um, that I want to explain. So if you um, do this, then you see that it it'll um, the 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 millings will stay with the the, the cabinet, but the, the hardware, the actual hinge doesn't. And that's annoying because you want the same behavior that you um, saw for the for the um, normal hinges. 
So there's a little trick that you can um, use to, um, to, to get this right. Now what you do is you, you just you make, make sure that this is a group and inside that group you have your geometry and your, um, your millings, drillings, whatever. And then you go to interior CAD and, uh, and fittings and you choose assign fitting type and you go to user defined here and hit assigned and then you get a little confirmation there. So let's just alt drag this up and double check, see what happens. And it should now stay with the cabinet, yes. And you can also assign a, a cutting list info to that hinge um, so that it, it, um, you, you find it in your, in your parts list later on. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope that helped. Cheers.